Hey y'all, welcome back to Hopped Up Beer Review. Today we are drinking ESB from Green Man Brewery out of Asheville, North Carolina. Thanks for joining us. Hey everybody, welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. And we are back to do that again. We have Wes joining us. Uh, Wes came to us from our Hopped Up Beer Review Discord server that we'll talk about in a little bit, but appreciate Wes joining us again. Wes, if people want to find you outside of these four boxes, where can they do that? Yeah, you can find me on Instagram at 1218brewing. All right. Definitely be sure to go check out Wes's Instagram page. We'll put that link down in the description along with some other links. Uh, but check that out. Go give him a follow and see everything that he's doing with his homebrew there. Um, I've also got Andy in the attic and Jay. Gentlemen, what are we drinking today? We are going to one of my favorite breweries. It's Green Man out of Asheville, North Carolina. This is their ESB Special Amber, so extra special bitter. Uh, unfortunately, it's not from Dirty Jack's, their tap room, but, you know, can will have to do. So let's drink. All right. And we did a beer swap with Wes, and uh, he provided this one to us, so... I guess if, uh, you know, you end up doing a beer swab with us at some point, uh, you're going to have to come on the show. That's kind of what we are uh, setting up as a as a requirement here. For... All right, that's a interesting color. This special. Get that. Special. Special. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. ESB, man. Stands for extra special bitter. So. Let me ask you a question you... first. Sorry. Have we done an ESB yet? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Didn't we Thank do... You. uh was old speckled hen? Uh, ESB, I don't think. No, that's a pale. Um, yeah, that's a pale. Sorry. I know we've, I think we've done an ESB. Okay. Because uh, I, I think I've talked about it before. Um, extra special bitter uh, balances between malt and hop bitterness. English styles are earthy and herbal. This one in particular is five and a half percent. 32 IBUs, uses 100% English ingredients, maybe not the water, but um, Simpson malts, English buggle hops. I had to make sure I saw that and wrote it down correctly. F-U-G-G-L-E, I've never heard of English fuggle hops and classic English ale yeast strain. Um, gives hints of toasted biscuit, toffee, caramel, dried fruit and herbs this beer was inspired by a british pub and tasting it i can i can kind of see that this is a very english pub tasting beer yeah i'm curious I, to see if we could get slurpy dave on here to drink this to see what he would think yeah send, send slurpy dave, yeah. to slurpy dave yeah slurpy dave uh send us your address and we'll send you one uh Maybe if we can get through the Maybe. post. Um, sure we can. Yeah. You know, I, I could, I don't remember you saying any of those things on a previous show. So, you know, I'm not so sure we've done an ESP, but I usually don't listen to you anyway. So there's that part. So, you know, that, that, that fits. What, so, what else do we know? <laughs> that's all I know about the beer. <laughs> so let's go to the brewery. Green Man Brewery, Asheville, North Carolina, was founded in 1997. They, I guess, focus or 
they specialize in English style, traditional English styles of beer. And what is the green man? Do you know anyone? Anyone? Wesley? <laughs> <laughs> you I know figured that was coming. <laughs> um, no, man. I'm not okay. even... <laughs> It's like you may have heard of Green Man. You're like, okay, it's a thing, but what what is it? Well, it's a legendary symbol that's been created through the ages by separate ancient cultures around the world. So major cultures in time that never came in contact with each other had a depiction of a green man, which to them symbolized rebirth or renaissance, and it represents the cycle of growth each spring. So the, this uh, the green man de depiction is typically a face surrounded by like uh, leaves or ivy or branches or vines. So case in point like that. Oh. Um, it was they also some pretty funny takeoffs too with some of their yeah. other cans. They you know they might put sunglasses on them or other yeah. things like that. Green man is also a popular name for English public houses too. So in talking about that, is this, uh, you mentioned it, you know, across cultures um, who haven't come in contact with each other. Is this where we, you know, evolve into that, our other show where we do conspiracy theories? Is this UFOs, a, you know, aliens is that spread this around or? I don't know, man. How did or the Smashy Pumpkin spread it? Is that, is that... <laughs> okay? Yeah. Got it. yeah, that's it. <laughs> Wasn't that on one of their B albums <laughs> or on the B sides? Yeah. Oh, all right. Um, Jay or Andy, have you had this beer before? Yes, I can't remember. I know I've had some Green Man. I don't know that I've had. You've had this beer, okay. I haven't logged it. Wow. So, I, guess who's, I guess who's going first? <laughs> I see. All right. I like it. I like an ESB. I wish I could get more traditional English beers in my area. This is one where I like that mix of malt and bitter because you get both worlds and it's just not overbearing in one. So you get that little sweet toasted like I said, caramel toffee. Biscuity was really good choice, kind of dry. And then you get the bitter at the back end, but it's not overbearing, you know. So in terms of a uh an ESB, I think it's I think it's great. I give this give us an eight point I like them. All right. Wes, you've been on enough shows now. I'm not going to let you go last anymore since we, we <laughs> what? this one. What do you think? Yeah. Um, so, like Andy said, it, it is, it's just a good balance in between uh, the best of both worlds. Um, I like I like that multi flavor. I like darker beers. Most of the time I'm going to gravitate toward something darker, whether it's an ESB, um, just an amber, American amber, or even darker into those motor oil colored stouts. Um, so I, I like that maltier flavor, but I do like the bitterness. One thing Andy said that I didn't pick up on until he said it, I knew that there was something I was trying to pinpoint, but it is that dryness um, in this beer, like about halfway through or toward the end of the palate, man, it just like dries out and your mouth is just, yeah, it's, um, I don't know that I've noticed that. So um, thank you, Andy, for uh, being the Cicerone on this show. But oh, um, Failed Cicerone. <laughs> but um, no, uh, it, it's great. It's, um, it's just an easy drinking beer. It's not too heavy. It's not one that you can't have several of and, you know, it just ruins your night. It's just a, a good, easy drinking beer. Um, I'm going to go 8.0 on this one and um, yeah I, I enjoy it uh, I've got to find more of theirs um, when I go to the store all right Jay what say you I figured you were going to last I'm good I, I like it <laughs> um, 
you know, Green Man's always been one of uh, my favorites that I was introduced, and I'll give a shameless plug into the city of Asheville, the Mecca breweries that they have there. Um, this one, uh, I spent probably hmm, less than 12, less than 18, probably less than 12 hours in Asheville, but I was fortunate enough to get in their uh, area down where Dirty Jacks is, their little tap room. And then they have their full scale brewery. It's just a really neat place. Uh, and uh, there's there's all sorts of them all around there. You've got Burial and High Wire all within walking distance. It's it's a great area and just fantastic. Green Man I've always been partial to because they are uh, tied to the English style, like you said, Andy. They um, The ESB has always been one of their tops. And then they are fantastic at IPAs um hands down um they've got their wayfarer their trickster um lots of others that that are just variations that are are excellent so um it's easy drinking beer for me on the esb uh i wish i could get more um uh, we used to get uh green man here uh but most recently over the last two years I think the only thing I've seen is probably the Trickster, uh, which is one of their IPAs. Um, so used to see two or three different variations, but distribution seems to be a lot tougher these days, I guess, to get their stuff here. We do get a lot of Asheville beer, but Green Man and Green Man was one of the first, but not not enough, fortunately. Uh, for me, it's an easy 810. Appreciate you sharing it, uh, Wes, because it's one, like I said, I can't get it. Yeah, um, so I don't remember what I rated this before. I, I know, Jay, like you, I there used to be some green man that would trickle into the area. It would be here for a little bit, and then it would all be gone, and we wouldn't see it again for months, and then we might see a few more, and and I haven't seen it in a while. I don't, I don't think I've seen any um, since COVID came around, but, um, you know, it's definitely – definitely one that just the can art stands out right it's hard to miss you know the the little dude that andy was talking about um for this particular beer though i, I man i think this is great I, I always with with the esbs it you know bitters in the title right so i kind of go into it expecting some of that bitter and it's not the bitter of an ipa to me ever you know i mean there is a little bit there, but it's not anywhere close to what I expect on some of the IPAs that we get. And so for me, it's almost like it's not really even bitter. Um, it's got so much flavor uh, from, you know, just that bready toffee. I, I love this beer. I think it's really, really good. I keep, I keep sipping on it, trying to pull out, you know, just more flavors. And I mean, it's just been a great beer. Um, I'm going to go eight and a half. I think this was one that, like we say, I wish I could get more of and wish I could just go grab it at the store anytime I wanted it. But unfortunately, I cannot. So eight and a half for me. That will give us an 8.1 for the Green Man ESB. Definitely one if you see you want to go grab and give it a shot. Uh, definitely appreciate Wes joining on this show, joining us on the show. Wes. Tell us one more time where everyone can find you if they want to find you outside of Hot Tub Beer Review. Yeah. Thank you again for the invite. You can find me on Instagram at 1218Brewing. All right. Good deal. Um, and again, we hooked up with Wes through Discord. We have a Hopped Up Beer Review Discord server. It's just a chat room. And uh, Wes hopped in there after seeing uh, the video that you're watching now, like one of these. And, uh, you know, we have... Uh, uh talked with Wes a fair amount now and he's joined us on a few shows so you know he's uh, more or less I think the unofficial fourth member of uh Hopped Up Beer Review here uh in some degree so definitely appreciate you joining us Wes appreciate the beer swap and uh always really appreciate the uh insight from North Carolina that you always bring to the show <laughs> I can't I can't even say that without laughing um so with that uh definitely uh be sure to like subscribe and cheers that notification bell check us out on all social media links 
down below. Check out Wes on Instagram. His link will be down there as well. And then come say hey in Discord. Uh, you know, who knows? You might do a beer swap with us and might end up uh, here doing a hopped up beer review. Beer review with the three of us. And maybe even Wes would join us that time too. Lastly, if you are interested in any hopped up beer review merch, like what Jay is showing off there in his little square uh, rectangle, I guess. Uh, check out the link below. We've got a, a store where we are providing some merch if you are interested in that. With that, for Andy in the Attic, Jay, Wes, I am Ben. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates.